Please welcome Tom Ogden! <laughs> let's, do the, let's do the rope trick, get it out of the way, we'll get home early. Cut off one end, we now have a rope with only one end. Any questions? Check in the level of the crowd. Cut the other end, we now have just the big rope. And I will find the middle of the rope, cut it into two equal pieces. The object of the old rope trick, to put the two equal pieces back into one rope. Two equal, two equal, they should have been the set. Let me start again. We have one long piece of rope. And here's the two ends, and the middle down around the center. I give it a stick. And with the magic word I learned in church, Bingo! <laughs> yeah, like I'm Catholic. It goes back <laughs> into one more. I'll do it again. I'll do it until you like it. I know what the problem is. You don't think I really cut the rope. Sir, would you take the scissors? That way everyone will know it really got, does cut. But remember, pink fingers, white rope. <laughs> don't do like the guy in the last show. Give her a snip right through there. Ooh, you should be a rabbi. No. <laughs> we'll twist the snap. It goes back into one long rope. A good trick if you don't count the knot. <laughs> of course, if you don't like the knot there, you move it down to there. Oh. You don't like it there, you move it over to there. You don't like it there, you take it off completely. The rope goes back together. Yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. You may have the magic knot. Thank you. Oh. No, it's a special knot. You take it home tonight, and believe it or not, if you put it under your pillow tonight, a magic fairy will come and take away that knot. Oh. I'll be there around 3 a.m. Lock <laughs> <laughs> well, the door, lady. I'm not Houdini. <laughs> All right. Continuing on with our little theme, a long, big, fuzzy rope, a medium rope, and a little baby rope. Oh. oh. I will fold each one in half, small, medium, and large. I give a little wave of the magic wand. <laughs> Trust me, when you need it, it's magic, all right? <laughs> they become the same length, so that we do have one, two, three ropes, all the same length. Having missed an obvious applause cue, yeah. I'll yeah. Have no yeah. Now it's cheap. Now, if you have three ropes and take away one, how many does that leave? Class! Yeah. Right, one. See all, those, see all those wasted years of Sesame Street? Yeah. I'll tie it into a big loop. And of course, if you don't really care for the knot, like the one I gave to you, you can take the knot off, throw it away, wow. and it gives you a loop with no end, something like that. Wow. I'll start again. There's the big one, there's the medium one, there's the baby in here. One more time, just in case you missed it. From the beginning. <laughs> Small, medium, and large. Which, as you know, is what you call a midget fortune teller who escapes from prison. A small, medium, at large. <laughs> Some jokes you do just for yourself. <laughs> Again, they become the same size. But this time I'll do something a little bit different. I wish you would. Okay. okay. I'll tie these two together, and I'll tie on the third. Now, quite plainly, there are three ropes. Two knots will hold them in place. Watch carefully as they merge into one long rope, no extra knots, just like <laughs> that. Yeah. Right. Don't be scared. It's time for ESP, extra sensory perception. Sir, you did so well with the rope, would you take a look at that deck of cards? Open it up, make sure it is a regular, ordinary, everyday deck of playing cards. And while he's doing that, just to save time, we'll use this deck over here. <laughs> when you get a chance, I'll take those back. It's the only normal deck I have. Uh, let's toss them right down here. Here you go, right on there. Fine. All right. I going to try to read somebody's mind, and it's going to be you. My first name is Tom. Your first name is? Lena. Lena? That is correct. Now, Lena, see how easy this stuff is? Lena, we've never met before tonight or prearranged anything, have we? Well, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have another deck of cards in my pocket, but it is invisible. I'm going to toss it to you. I'd like you to pretend to catch it. Ready? It's like play acting, Panama. Mm -hmm. Shh. Nicely done. Shuffle them up. We'll, we'll take them out of the box first, Lena. Oh, I, I, I didn't warn her. That's good. That's good. Now, mix them up. 
and spread them out in front of you like a giant like a giant spread of cards. Find one you like the looks of in the middle, but do not take the ace of spades. Because if you do, everyone in the audience, if I guess it right, will say, oh, they always pick that one. <laughs> so pick one of the other 51 cards. Okay. Look at it. Remember it. Show it around. <laughs> She's doing it. Okay, that's good. Turn it backwards so it says it. Well, don't let me see it. Now keep it into the pack, square it up, put it back in the card box, toss it up here to me. A round of applause for our Academy Award. <laughs> Before I came here tonight, I took this real deck of cards. I turned one card, one card only, upside down in the deck. In your brain, you have one card, one card only, reversed in an imaginary deck. Wouldn't it be amazing if those cards matched? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes! You can talk to me, I'm not TV. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if those cards matched? Yes. I say, hey, yes, let's find out. For the first time, Lena, so everybody can hear, what was the name of the card you had on your mind? Seven Go ahead. Seven of hearts. Pardon? Seven of hearts. No, that's wrong. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. The people in the front will have to start the wild applause because you'll be able to see easier than the people way back there in the mezzanine that there is one card, one card only reversed here in the pack, and no sure enough, way. it is the seven of hearts. No Thank way. you. Way. No, no, it is. It is. my favorite part of the show where I get to walk out into the audience so that each and every one of you may touch me. <laughs> Actually, we're looking for a particular type of person. I'd like you, sir, to come down here and help me down the stairs and let's give him a big round of applause. And look at how he's walking. Single fire. Right here beside me. Great. My name's Tom and you are big. <laughs> my name's Tom. You are? Gene. Hi, Gene. Seems we have the same tailor. Gene, have you, have you, have you ever been to a circus? Yes. Then you may have seen this. Back in the old days in a circus, it used to be intense. I don't mean intense. I mean it used to be intense. And there was a second tent called the sideshow. That's where they had the 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 bearded lady and the fire eater and the, and the tattoo people. Now they're in the streets. They used to be in a circus. <laughs> do you have any tattoos? Yes. I do. Oh, you do. Would you care to show us? Uh, then we'll move on. All right. <laughs> Maybe after the show. And the thing that I'm going to teach you. Mike, was it? Gene. Good. <laughs> Mike, in just a second. I'm going to have you, standing here with Steve, I'm going to have you swallow this sword. Now tell me, have you ever swallowed a sword? No. Then this will be neat, won't it? <laughs> yes. Now I'm going to show all of you how much fun it is to swallow a sword by introducing you all to a friend of mine who is an expert sword swallower. Here he is, Jim. The sword swallowing chicken. <laughs> now we will have Jim swallow the sword to show you how to do it. But first, I will hypnotize Jim. Jim! <laughs> sleep! He is asleep. Now, he will swallow that sword. But you will notice. <laughs> that was a little rude, wasn't it? <laughs> As he swallows a sword to show you how much fun you will have, he will joyously tap dance at the same time. Grown man making his living this way, Steve. What do you, what do you, what do, you do for a living? Uh, executive security. I don't have a joke for that. All right. Watch the little toes. It's not a real chicken. In just a second, that will happen to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, it killed Jim. You're next. Steve, <laughs> stand right there on that spot. Wow. You didn't do that, did you? No. All right. <laughs> Hands at your side, face front. Because I'm going to have you swallow this differently. I'm not going to have you swallow it from top to bottom. I'm going to have you swallow it side to side. Oh. When I say three, I'm going to drive the sword <laughs> right through his head. Beating a little quicker than <laughs> I don't want to upset you. I brought this with me. This little set of wooden stocks. Now, in just a second, I'm going to place your head in there. Then I take the sword, run it through. Nothing gets hurt on the inside. Tell me, have you ever done this trick before? No. Oh, me neither. I got this on eBay. <laughs> this will be neat. Now, chin up. A perfect fit. 
and in it goes. Now you'll notice there are two handles, Steve. There's one for your left hand, and one for your right. Oh, you're nervous. Your skin's leaking. All right. <laughs> then the other side. Hold tightly. That keeps the head from rolling. <laughs> now we change places. Turn back this way and about two steps back. Under the bag. Okay, good. Now, first of all, be honest. Do you feel this? Yes. Oh. No, do you really? <laughs> well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Before I do this thing, I have one question for you, Steve. Do you moose that? <laughs> now, normally we don't allow flash photography during the show, but this is a special dispensation. If you brought a camera with you, this is the Kodak moment. For you, a K.O. Pectate moment. Right? If you chin against the board, or this will hurt a lot. I'll do it slow. One, two, three. Oh, Turn this way a little bit. Three, 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 three. Turn around. Turn the ball away now. Watch around. No, no. Hold your applause. <laughs> Let's get right. Back. Up. Hey. Oh. <laughs> well, bummer. Well. <laughs> That's kind of stuck there, Steve. Matter of fact, they're stuck here, too. Okay. So I'd like to take this brief opportunity to talk to you all about Amway products. <laughs> Take a deep swallow, good, and let's give the young man a big. Besides all that applause for helping me, a special present, this $5 off coupon to your next visit to the Richard Nixon Library in your Belinda. Pass that back to him, a young Republican crowd pleaser. Oh, you've been a lot of fun. I have just enough time for one last little trick in my portion of your entertainment evening. The trick I'm going to close with tonight is over 2,000 years old. It is so old that every time I pull it out of the box, everyone in the audience yells, Oh, that trick. <laughs> oh, that trick? Yeah, that trick. This is a trick which I call the Chinese linking rings. I call it the Chinese linking rings, because that's what it said on the box when I bought it. <laughs> Three solid gold rings. Chromed silver so the gold doesn't tarnish. <laughs> you take two of them, tap them together, it gives you the illusion that they link. Now, of course, that can't really happen. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do it again. You take the one medium and twist, they appear to link. This one appears to link through that one. You check the butterfly wings, they waft the part. Waft. I'll show you how it's done. One way to stick your finger anyway. See, from the back it looks linked. It's not. That's the trick. The other is the thumb method with a twist. See, I use the thumb, not the finger. It's a little more than that. Here, let me get that out of the way. Now, if you listen closely, you will actually hear it crash through. Sometimes. That's one, that's two. Together it makes three. Now. When you stop to think about it, the rings are like marriage, the engagement ring, the wedding ring, the suffering. <laughs> Here it is, rock and roll star, Elton John! Around the world, down the arm. Of course, that takes us back to our one, two, and three Chinese linking. You've been a sensational. <laughs>